hello everyone today in this video we'll be discussing the module 3 of uh, 18 mat dip 31 and uh, here we have the vector differentiation so there are four topics mainly the first topic is the differentiation of vector functions and then uh, this is the theoretical concept and scalar and vector point functions and this is the main two important things okay gradient uh, divergence and curl and here we have solenoidal and irrotational vector field problems so if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay so let's get started with the uh, first topic which is a derivative of a vector valued function some of the points which you need to remember is that if this uh, there's a space and there's a point p here the p is uh, comprised of three things x y and z values so if p is equal to x y z then uh, the vector function is given by x i plus y j plus z k and here are the three formulas if i dot i uh, the dot product of the same value is one and the dot product of the adjacent values is zero as well as the cross product okay and velocity in acceleration is nothing but if this is the particle moving then at time t if you differentiate it will be velocity and if you differentiate velocity with time t it will be acceleration okay that's all the theoretical concept and here uh, we have to find out the angle between the two vectors if the two vectors are a and b the uh, angle will be equal to a cos theta is equal to a dot b the dot product of a and b divided by the values multiplied uh, of a and b okay that's the cos theta value and taking the cos inverse this side we'll get the theta value and the normal vector is uh, given by the normal vector divided by the value of normal vector and that's the unit vector coming to tangent the same thing the tangent value here divided by the uh, tangents um, the tangent will be written here and tangent will be divided okay so it will give us the unit tangent vector and tangent is nothing but the um, differentiating the uh, vector value divided by time t okay and if a is equal to a1 uh, a1i plus a, uh, a2j plus a3k then the value of a will be equal to the square root of a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square and that's all about the uh, formulas let's see what are the type of questions you can expect in the exam first is that uh, you'll be given with xyz values okay after giving xyz values it's a parametric function Par parametric function means x is dependent on uh, t y is dependent on t z is also dependent on t that is the parametric equation and what are the things we need to find out is the first the unit tangent vector and the angle between the tangents okay to find out the unit tangent vector what we have to do is uh, the x y and z we have to write it as follows like the vector will be equal to x i plus y j plus z k substitute the values of x y and uh, z as they have given after that differentiate with respect to t and when you differentiate partially with respect to t for each of these like for uh, first for uh, t here then here also and here also you'll get the tangent vector and they have asked to find out the unit tangent vector unit tangent vector formula i had shown earlier this is the unit tangent vector formula the tangent vector we got now and we have to find out the magnitude of it and divide it by uh, the tangent okay so we have to find out first the, the tangent value as well as the tangent will be written here after you do that you'll be dividing this by the tangent value and you'll be getting the tangent vector okay so this is the tangent vector the second question which they have asked is the angle between the two tangent vectors at t1 and uh, t2 t is equal to 1 and t is equal to 2 so this is the tangent vector official uh, means the formula which uh, which is uh, with us so we have to substitute t is equal to 1 here and find out one um, value which is a vector substitute t is equal to 2 and find out another vector which is uh, b vector then find out the angle between a and b as follows cos theta is equal to a dot b by a and b uh, magnitude okay so uh, this is the uh, cos theta value and if you take the inverse of uh, theta means theta is equal to cos inverse of this value that is the required angle okay so this is how you find out the angle between the two tangents okay let's see one more example for better understanding here we have to uh, find out the angle between the tangents to the curve this one at t is equal to plus or minus 3 two values plus 3 and minus 3 so first thing what you need to do if you want to find out a tangent vector divide the tangent vector value divided by the t okay dt when you do that you will get this answer here partially with respect to t this is the tangent vector now at t is equal to 3 one answer you will get t is equal to minus 3 one answer you will get and uh, find out the value between the two vectors a and b by using cos theta is equal to this formula so you will get 16 by 25 theta is equal to cos inverse of 16 by 25 so that's all you need to know how to find out the unit tangent vector as well as the angle between two vectors okay moving on we have the next topic which is gradient divergence and curl okay so here are some formulas let's go through it firstly what is a scalar function and ve uh, vector function scalar function means it will not have any magnitude means the direction will not be there in vector the, uh, the direction will be there okay so in scalar you will not have i j and k only x y z so it will be phi is equal to x square plus y square plus z square that is the scalar point function and the vector function is defined by i and i j and k values are there here along with that what is there del by del x del by del y del by del z for i j and k okay these are two things for the scalar and vector formula the next thing is the gradient of scalar function divergence of vector field these two things for gradient and divergence okay so here the 
phi value will be same only and for finding the gradient you have to multiply this by phi when you do that you will get here the same things the what is in the above formula except that you will have a phi here because phi is getting multiplied here right so the triangle formula was this one and the phi formula just add phi in each of these places okay that's all what you have to do and coming to divergence if a is equal to this one a1 a2 a3 the same formula what you have written for triangle right here and a's value will be written beside it then for this one take a1 here and uh, take a2 here and take a3 here you'll get this formula this is the um, divergence of vector field okay coming to curl of vector field you'll just have to do the cross product write these things in this uh, form here i j and k here you have del by del x del by del y del by del z and here you have a1 a2 and a3 which are the terms uh, in the given uh, formula a1 a2 and a3 after you have written that, you have to find out the determinant in, the, uh, in, the, uh, uh, in this way. Okay, find out the determinant. Next is the directional derivative. For that, you will be given with a function here and a d, uh, d uh, vector here. So what you have to do is to find out the directional derivative, first find uh, the gradient as you have uh, discussed earlier and multiply it with n uh, cap. n cap is nothing but the d vector which they have given divided by the value of d vector. So that's, the, that's called the directional derivative of uh, psi at n. Okay. So we'll be seeing an examples of uh, each of these formula, how to apply using uh, the equation. So uh, the angle between the two foot surface is a very important question. To find out the angle, you'll have two uh, values of phi here, tangents, t uh, t1 and t2. To find out the value, it's very simple. Find out the gradient of each of these divided by the values of gradients. Okay, that uh, you'll get the cos uh, theta value. Theta will be cos inverse of this value. That's all about the formulas and uh, let's move on to the problems. So the first problem is that you have to find out the value of uh, gradient at the point given and this is the function given. So first thing, this is the psi value given to us. You have to keep it as such and find out the gradient value. Then uh, what you have to do is just that, write out the gradient formula. The triangle value is this one and del by del x of phi del by del y of phi, del by del z of phi. So instead of phi, what you'll substitute is this one and find out the partial derivatives. What I mean is, find out the partial derivative here for x, okay. So when you find out the partial derivative, what you'll get? x square will be 2x and it will be y here, and then this will be 2 into z and that's it. 2x uh, y plus 2z, that will, that's what you'll be writing in the first term. For this one, you'll be writing 2x y plus 2z. Same thing do for this also partial respect to, uh, partial differentiation with respect to y and z. In that way, you'll get the gradient value and the point which they are given is 2, comma, uh, minus 2, comma 3. So this is the answer which you'll get when you apply the value of 2, minus 2 and 3 for x, y and z. And that's all what you have to find out in, and uh, if you have to find the angle between the, sorry, not angle, if you have to find out the unit vector, in that time you will divide this by the uh, magnitude of this. How you'll find magnitude? So, um, uh, means take the root of 2, minus 2 square plus 4 square plus 4 square. That answer will get as 3 and the above thing will be same as such. So that's your unit vector. Another example, what they have given here, right here, use phi, partially differentiate with respect to x, y, and z for each of these terms. You'll get three terms here. After you get three terms, substitute the value of uh, minus 1, minus uh, 1, and uh, 2. You'll get the uh, uh, normal vector here. So that normal vector value will substitute here. And then after that, you'll be finding out the magnitude x square plus y square plus z square uh, square root, you'll get the unit vector. That's all what you have to do in the first uh, type of uh, problems. The second type of problem is about the directional derivative. So this is the phi value which they have given and the point is given, this is the directional derivative. Okay. So phi value will be writing here doing the same thing gradient and after that you will be uh, substituting a value of uh, 1 minus 2 and minus 1 for x, y and z. And after that, the unit vector along this direction, which uh, you have uh, got, uh, you'll be finding out, uh, sorry, not uh, the directional derivative. This is the directional derivative, right? So this you'll be using to find out the normal vector. So normal vector is this one divided by the value of um, the derivative which you have given. So when you do that, you'll get this value. This is the normal vector. Why we are finding out this is because it's in the formula that multiply this by this to get the final answer. This is the formula, right? Dot n cap. This is the final answer which we need to get in the directional derivative. Right? If I show you in the formulas also, I've written that. This is the thing which I'm talking about. Directional derivative, we need this. So first part, we found out this. Second part, we found out this using this formula. After that, we'll multiply these both. The, that's our final answer. Okay. After you get these both, then just multiply them. In multiplication, what you have to do? Items with item, a to the minus mi 1 into minus 1, minus 2 into minus 10. So we'll get the answers here. 3 is as such. Okay, 37 by 3, that's the directional derivative. Consider an example, here two vectors are given to us and the point is given to us, okay. These are the two surfaces, the angle between them we have to find at the point 2 minus 1 and 2. 
So first find out this one as early uh, as uh, before only for each of these you have to find out this one and this one. So how you'll find the gradient for that is partially differentiate the equation given with respect to x, y and z. So you'll get one answer here another answer here and the point will be substituted. So the point after you substitute the point uh, 2 minus 1 and uh, 2 you'll get this answer. Okay you'll get this answer and uh, sorry um, we'll be doing that later but before that what you have to do is you have to find out the gradient. To do the gradient use the same things as uh, previously partially differentiate you'll get two equations and after that substitute the values so after you get the two equations the angle uh, it's very easy cos theta is a this you have written here this one is written here and the magnitude square root of each of these terms um, multiplication so you'll get the answer for the theta value and that is cos inverse of what answer you got here okay and if you have to find out the angle between the uh, normal to the surface, one surface is given, so this is the surface given to us, and the normal to the surface is this one, and at this one and this one, two points are given. So if these are the two points, you have to find out the angle between these two points. Okay, this angle you have to find out. So how you do that is first what they have given the equation that you write as phi, then find out the gradient value by partial differentiation at each of these point, this point and this point. Okay, so you'll get two points here for A and for B, you'll get two points. And two equations by using these two equations find out the cos theta value so the theta value will cos inverse of this one okay that was about the um, curl and uh, divergence so let's move on to the next topic which is the gradient and uh, divergence and curl so these are the second type of problems which you can expect so a and um, a is given so you can uh, you have to find out the uh, div uh, divergence of a curl a and um, delta square uh, delta square of a okay this you have to find out so how, how you'll find div a is that uh, a's value first you write here okay and which is a1 this is a1 so i've written a1 here this is a2 then this is a3 once you get a1 a2 and a3 you just have to differentiate partially with respect to x y and z that's your div a for curl a you have a1 a2 and a3 values you have to substitute here and find out the determinant and curl a is the same thing uh, sorry not curl a uh, del square a is also the same thing you just have to differentiate twice once you differentiate you will get one answer and then you have to differentiate that again this first answer differentiate that again to get the final answer coming to solenoidal and irrotational uh, vector fields here what you have to do is you have to prove that uh, div f is equal to zero that is uh, solenoidal and curl f is equal to zero that is irrotational so how will you do, the, uh, do that is first you need to know the formula of curl f and um, div f okay curl and dip formula we have discussed earlier the same formula you'll be using the function is given f here okay so what we have to prove is it is both solenoidal and irrotational so for that uh, the f value is given the x and y terms are separated here so it is uh, taken as f1 and f2 and to find out the diff f you will have to differentiate with the f uh, means the f1 term which is x with respect to x and uh, y term with respect to y so f2 is taken here and f1 is taken here so after we partially differentiate we get zero that's solenoidal same thing goes for curl f also the same formula which I have discussed earlier. So you have to use that and find out if the answer is coming as 0. You will uh, get this cut here. It is coming as 0. So therefore f is irrotational. In solenoidal and irrotational you just have to prove it. Uh, you just need to know the formula and if you can prove uh, you are uh, thorough with this topic. Okay. So uh, let's consider another example here. f is given as this one. Is irrotational you have to prove. Also you have to find out the scalar point function. So let's see how to uh, find out the scalar point function because the uh, first topic is same. Just have to write here the determinant value and we have to find out the answer if it comes as zero it is irrotational we discussed that earlier also let's see how to find out the scalar point function and uh, such that del into phi is equal to f okay for that you have to take three terms f1 f2 and f3 okay the x terms will be taken here partially differentiate you'll get one answer y terms z terms after i've written that you'll get three terms here since you have to find out phi what you have to do is multiply this this side and uh, integrate it okay so integration will give us phi so phi values will get three phi values plus f1 yz you're doing with x take uh, y and z here if you're doing with y take x and z if you're doing with z take x and y after you do that and uh, write down the phi values and by using three equations you can easily find out what is f1 f2 and f3 and after you find out substitute that in the same formula you will get this answer okay this is the, uh, this, is the, uh, this is the scalar point function phi is equal to xy xz and yz that's all for the module 3 and uh, thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one